That's the brake booster removed. So now I can get to that, that, and here. And in there. All these brake pipes will be getting replaced with new ones. So yeah. That's one of the jobs I've got to do. I'm going to get on with that. Making all of this under there, getting all that sorted. The next time I show you, I would have completed it. Uh, all in there, all up here, all in here will be done. wanted to show you before I completed it. Thank you. I'll be back shortly. That's what I've done so far. Got a big piece out. And by the way, this is its support. Not the body. So nothing's moved. I'm going to make a new piece of metal to put in there now because it was all terrible. There you go. I'm going to get on with that. And I'll be back with you when I've uh, put a new piece in. And now I've got to make a replica of this. And before anyone says that you should brace the car up before cutting the inner wings out, the wheel well bit. No you don't because you can buy these replacement panels and weld them straight in because the chassis rails, what the engine bolted to, supports all the front. These are just outer panels that attach. So there's no bracing up needed for this change. I just thought I should say that because I keep getting hate comments. I make that and then that new piece will be getting put in back soon another day back at it again this is how I make some of the panels I'll just clamp it to a piece of metal and start shaping the metal around it to get a rough guide like that and I'll start fabricating the metal around the old stuff keeping bits that I want here and like that. That's one way I do it if it's a really tricky shape just to get a rough template and then I'll knock the rest of the shapes in after. So there it is. Some of behind the scenes of what I do. It's tedious, takes ages. Yep, I'll be back when I've uh, done some more. Right, I'm working on this. This is not correct. Somebody's added this. I've cleaned there and there's a weld going right across the bottom there, up to there. They've welded this to the side of this. But as you know, this door post panel is, has a lip that's supposed to run up over the top. That lip is supposed to go up and over the top of this panel up there and sandwich this one in between the two so I've decided I'm going to cut this out and make a proper panel that will slot in there and then when I take this off I can make the lip and when I put it back on it will sit over it like proper like factory would have done it that's what I'm working on at the moment but I'm going to run it straight across instead of joining it here it's going to run straight across there 
and I've cut that there and I'm going to make a new lip in there and it'll go on like that properly so I'll be back when you, when I've started doing that Hello. unfortunately I've been working on it today and I've hit a big problem whoever's been repairing this before has completely changed it I'll show you what I mean I started all of this today and in there I changed all of this right up into there but unfortunately this has been changed it's not the original I think this be up there on there and bowled it onto this but they've cut a piece out so my only other option is, is to buy some new inner wing top sections that weld onto here and replaces all of this down there like that and the wing wouldn't have gone on properly it's supposed to be up under here but they have cut it and it don't reach so that has put a stop until I can get them and if I'm going to do that side I may as well do the other side All that hard work for nothing. Anyway, I just wanted to update you. There might not be another video for a little while while I order them. Unless I could start something else for now. Um, yeah, it's a big setback. I'll uh, get back to you when I get the inner wings top section replacements because I, I might as well just replace both of them and get, I've done with it I'll see you soon and there is a bit of a bonus video at the end of my son wanting to help so I gave him a chisel and I asked him to scrape some of the paint off the rear quarter um, let me just quickly that's what I've been doing replacing the inner section all the way up to there till this stop to it so please like and subscribe and I'll be back with you soon bye bye hello another day working on the Cortina only this time I've got someone who wants to help me say hello hi it's my son Liam mm -hmm. You're going to help me? So what are yeah. we going to do? The car. You're going to scrape some paint off for me, are you? Yeah. So, he's going to scrape this off so I can see how good it looks behind all of this. So that's his job today, as he wants to help. So, go on then. You ain't poking holes in it though. Don't take too much off, will you? Too much metal. I want to see what oh, the metal's yeah. like behind this blue paint. Uh, it's looking like it's rusty behind it, isn't it? <laughs> Try down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
this is the only thing I could find thing to do at the moment. Yeah, watch, don't knock them plastic things off. Okay. I need them. It's old stick right. chrome trim on. I should give you a better tool, shouldn't I? Yeah. What about all these bits here? These ones are blistering right there. Yeah. Every, yeah, knock all that out if you want. Right, you can be more rougher than that with it. <laughs> These, pull all that out. Yeah, you do that. I've got to make this quarter panel. So don't worry about damping it too much. the paint ain't now. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> you got your own YouTube channel as well, don't you? Yeah. What's your YouTube channel? Spy and Liam. If you like gaming and stuff like that, check out his channel, Spy Gamer Liam. Yes. It's difficult. And here. Yeah, you can get it off. I would let him use a power tool, but it's a bit early in the morning to make too much noise. Probably respectful of the neighbours. Um, let me know when you give up. <laughs> I'm gonna try here. Hmm? I'm gonna try here. Do you wanna try sanding some of the rust? Go. Well, you can get that rust off. While he's doing that, I'm just going to show you my focus. That's what I've been doing to me focus. Bad boy lights. I have got black lights to go in there. One excuse. And that's the rear splitter that I'm making. It's got an Ornit exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there is clean metal. Yeah. That's good. That's good news. That'll do. I just wanted to know if some nice metal comes up in there and it does. That's good. Uh, you had enough? Yeah. You want to try that again? Don't choose to sleep too hard though. I want some metal left. <laughs> Where do I do? Anywhere you like. Do up here if you want.
I will show you all the work process that I've done in a bit once I get the cover off the front and I've done a little bit more work but a lot's been done since actually that'll probably be before this video because <coughs> I'm going to put this one at the end of my video my son wanted to help <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't use a, a cutting disc or welders yet. So, this is a safe job for him at the moment. <laughs> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> <clears throat> I see you! Shouldn't be able to see in the boot from the side of the vehicle, should I? Unless I'm looking for the window. Why is it so difficult? Why is it what? Difficult. It's just on good. But all I needed to know that there was good metal underneath there that's still for me to work with. Because I've got to rebuild, remake this quarter panel. Will that come off? I no. Anyway, I just want, wanted just to show you my son helping. So. I'll get back to the big jobs now, and I'll see you in a bit. What was your um, gaming channel? Spy Gamer Liam. Spy Gamer Liam. Yeah, so go and check his channel out if you're into games. I don't know what he puts on there, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit.